Hey, so if you watch this channel, you probably know I am somewhat obsessed with a handheld Japanese firework called Senko Hanabi. Not Hanabi, as I've been mispronouncing it for about two decades. <laughs> These gentle fireworks are composed of a mixture of sulfur, potassium nitrate, charcoal slash soot, and it's the paper casing that I want to look at today because there's a lot of variability here, tons of stuff to explore. Not only can you explore the size and cut of the paper and how you wrap it, the paper material itself is worthy of some exploration. So since we just passed the holidays, I had tons of paper lying around. And so I thought I would burn different types of paper to see how they were for Sango Hanabi. Now, I used the same composition for all of them. I probably could have made different compositions that would have worked better for different types of paper, but I didn't want to mess with that. And they all got the same amount, the classic 0 0.08 grams of the black powder. I think some of these results are going to surprise you. So we're going to start with some of the ones that just really didn't work out very well. Yeah, now I don't even know where I got this one, but it was like a vinyl paper, like a packing paper. And boy, it was terrible, terrible to work with. Hard to wrap, um, didn't burn very well, didn't allow that dross ball to pull up. So it burned, but it never let anything happen after that. We had sort of a butcher block paper. It was wrappable, hard to do, but we could do it. But again, it was just way too thick. It doesn't allow that dross ball to pull up. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Yes, I thought I'd try a sales receipt. They looked like it would be a good idea. Thought this would pull up into a dross ball, but it was still just too thick. I guess that's not a good reuse of your sales receipts. Yeah, this one was disappointing wrapping paper. I thought really wrapping paper might work, but just like the vinyl paper, it was hard to wrap and it was just way too thick. You couldn't get the dross ball to pull up. So unfortunately you can't reuse your wrapping paper for Sango Hanabi. I'm, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you that. So continuing with things that didn't really work well, graph paper. I really thought graph paper might work, but any kind of writing paper or graph paper is, is really pretty thick. And just like any of these other things, didn't allow the dross ball to pull up, cocooned it and, and then shut it down. <laughs> oh no, this one, oh, this one was the worst. Kitchen parchment paper. Uh, this stuff was just horrendous to wrap, almost unwrappable. Nope, just flat out awful. So here's an example of a paper that I couldn't even get to wrap at all. It was so frail, so weak that just wrapping it caused it to fray apart. So we're seeing that there are definitely some traits that don't really work for Sango Hanabi paper. It can't be too thick and it can't be too weak. But it wasn't all bad news. There's still lots of paper you might have sitting around your house that would be good for Sanko Hanabi. And really the best place to start is just tissue paper. It is where I start my students every year for Sanko Hanabi. Tissue paper has a lot of great things working for it. It's easy to wrap. It's easily accessible. Ben from Nighthawk in Light is just an avid fan of tissue paper. Now again, if, if your wrap is bad, then it's gonna be bad no matter what you wrap with tissue paper or not. Now, some tissue paper is gonna be weaker than others, so it wouldn't hurt to try a couple different brands and see which one you like the best, but here's another example. This one, this one worked pretty well.
And this one wasn't even a tissue paper. This was just some random packing paper I found. And as you can see, I was able to get this work too. So we're building a lot of evidence to the narrative that as long as your paper is thin and wrappable, you can probably get a single honeybee out of it. Now, some of these I did have to blow on. If you ever hear any puffing and puffing in the background, that's me giving them a little bit of extra oxygen. I don't think that's cheating. <laughs> in fact, that's one of the ways I like to end a Senko if it's not really doing great late stage spark. And I just go ahead and give it a couple puffs and that tends to give it one more final hurrah. Here's another example of a thin paper that I got a good wrap out of. And this one was a little bit more marginal. Uh, one of them didn't work at all. And one of them barely worked. Would I use this as a paper of my choice? Nah. Nah, I wouldn't. This is, this, is, this is one of my success stories. Um, the school I work with has, I would say, arguably terrible paper towels. <laughs> They're more like squeegees than paper towels. We laugh about it all the time when we're trying to clean up spills in the lab. And so I thought I would see if they maybe had a, a better purpose in life. Maybe they could moonlight as Sanko Hanabi papers. Maybe they shouldn't quit their day job. I, it, <laughs> I did get, I did get a Sanko Hanabi out of bathroom paper towel. Um, it wasn't easy. I had to give it a lot of supplemental oxygen, but what I did like about the restroom paper towel is I did get a nice big kind of willowy branching off it, which I thought was pretty cool. It didn't last long, but would I try to Sanko with restroom paper towel again? Yes. Yes, I would. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd, thought I'd try kitchen wax paper too. Uh, you know what? Didn't really wrap very well. Uh, harder to wrap than I thought. It was pretty interesting though. One of them didn't work. One of them did work with a lot of supplemental oxygen. And uh, what you'll find is there was some really interesting willowy branches. Now I didn't show the whole video here. This went on for quite a while, but um, it does beg future investigation. Perhaps dipping a Sanko in wax, for instance, a very thin coat of wax might, might lead to some pretty interesting results. So what was that, like a dozen papers or something? Still, despite all that, you know what? Gampy paper still has my heart. I really can't say enough about Gampy paper. I've been using it for quite some time. I know you don't need it, right? You could get away with tissue paper, but the advantages it has over classic tissue paper is the fact that it's just so much stronger. It's really, really hard to tear Gampy paper, even when you're putting a lot of the strain on it to get it to work. In my heart, it's worth the extra effort for me to get Gampy paper. When you break down the price, Persenko, not that expensive.
So to me, Sango Hanabi isn't just about burning the Hanabi. It is also about making them. And I, I just enjoy working with Gampy paper. I, I love the feel of it. I love the texture. Tissue paper is absolutely usable and you can get great Sanko Hanabi from them too. So don't go out of your way to get Gampy paper. But I think that if you, if you do wrap Sanko, you owe it to yourself to try Gampy paper at least once. So what did I learn about paper? Well, it's got to be thin and it's got to be strong. Now, in my opinion, the ideal paper is the Gampy paper. As I said many times, it's a pleasure to work with. It's thin and, it's, and it can handle almost any abuse that you put on it. But any paper that is thin and strong is going to work too. Any tissue of paper you have sitting around is going to be fine. It relies on a good wrap, but you can make those work too. What isn't gonna work is paper that is thick or weak. If your paper tears easily, don't bother. And if it's too thick to wrap, then even if you do get it wrapped, it's gonna to be too thick to burn. That dross ball's never gonna eat through it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope that you uh, stick around. I've got some more Senko videos coming. I learned a lot this fall, and so I've gotta, I gotta share a lot of stuff with you. <laughs> so be kind and have a great day. Thanks for watching.